Hello guys, welcome back to another session of Power Automate Basics and over here we are going to discuss about creating maintainable flow. So before understanding the technique about the maintainable flow, I would like to discuss about what actually the maintainable flow is. So guys, maintainable flow is equivalent to the maintainable code where your written logic should be easily understand by any person who is going to look into your flow logic. So what it means? It means that suppose if you are creating a flow and after some time you move to other project and your developed flow is now maintained by other developer or say other power user then your logic should be easily readable to the other makers so guys this is about the maintainable flow so now the next question is how we will create a maintainable flow or you can ask that what is the best practices to create the maintainable flow so to create the maintainable flow you have to do two things first you have to provide meaningful name as well as you have to also specify the comment for each of the actions which you are using so what i mean to say that Let's jump into the Power Automate portal and over there we will look into this. So guys, I am inside the Power Automate portal and over here I have opened one of the example of the approval flow which is based on manual trigger. When you will find it over here, there is no meaningful name of each of the steps and it is not much readable and suppose if you are giving this flow to any of the other user or say any of the other makers, then he need to go inside the flow and check within each of the step what actually it is doing. For example, if he wants to check that what this condition is doing. So he need to go inside this condition and check that okay there is outcome variable and that is what it is checking for whether it is approved or not. But it is not giving any kind of information without going inside the action. So guys, this is about the example where we are not having any kind of a meaningful name. Now I am going to show you another example where I have kept the meaningful name and that would be more intuitive. So let's look into this example and over here you will find that you can easily make out what actually this condition is. Okay, this condition is used to check the manager approval and if you will go inside that then you will get all the other steps. But from the outside itself you come to know that what actually this step is doing. Now if you look into other step then you will find that other step is related with the HR approval. Check HR approval condition. So over here if you will go inside then you will find other steps. So guys this is about giving the meaningful name to your steps. Now let's proceed further and let's look into how we can provide the meaningful name and that is with the help of renaming. So how you will rename it that is what I am going to tell you. To rename it you need to come over here. Here you will get three dots. When you click on it then it will give you the context menu. And over here you will get the option called rename and then you will specify what you want to do. And over here you need to specify what this step is doing. So you can tell that checking outcome condition. This is about one way. Another way you can do that, suppose if you want to give more brief description about this, then in that scenario you can add the comment. So how you will add the comment? You will come over here, there is a add a note thing over here, you can click on it, this is nothing but a, this is nothing but a comment. So over here you can specify what actually this step is doing. So you can write that in this step we are checking the outcome from the earlier step that is wait for an approval. So this is what you mentioned. So this is also default name that also you can change for a example purpose. I just want to give you one example. So you can use this thing to specify the comment as per the action which you are performing in that step. So guys this is simple but very powerful to create the maintainable code or say maintainable flows and this is what I wanted to discuss with you in this session. See you in the next session. Till then bye bye. Take care.